Ever since the very first episode in Season 1 of Power, all the way to Season 4 of Power Book 2, there has always been subliminal messages that are given. Certain things that take place within scenes are sometimes distractions to throw us off from what is really happening, while other moments are meant to make us wonder and question. In this final part of my series Ghost Town, I will point out a number of things that have happened after the supposed death of Ghost. That may point to Ghost being very much alive and aware of what is currently going on in Tariq's life. I will also point out one specific scene in Power Book 2 from last season that was eerily similar to the final scene of Ghost and Tariq. That may support my last and final theory on what really happened the night we last saw Ghost on screen. But before I get started, there may be some of you who are tuning in for the very first time. I highly recommend checking out my video that I gave on the different perspectives of each character's final episode in Season 6 to get a better understanding of this video. Ever since the questionable death of Ghost, there have been a number of hints, clues, and teasers of Ghost returning. But yet there is still some that believe Ghost is dead and will never return. But what if I told you that we may have recently got the biggest amount of proof of Ghost returning in the finale of season four? Do you feel pressure on how the fans will react to the ending? Ugh. Notori, come on, yeah, man. Michael's being shy over here. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't. I, I wouldn't say pressure how the fans will react. I feel excited to excited. give the fans what they've been waiting mm -hmm. for. Yeah. Yeah. The ending is going to give you what you need. So. Yes. Just get ready for your popcorn, your power, <laughs> your ghost party, because it's going to be here. As you just saw in that clip, there were two major giveaways that actress Naturi Naughton gave. For Naturi to say that the final episode will give the fans what they have been waiting for, it couldn't be more obvious that she's giving us hints of Ghost Returning. Ghost's Return is what the majority of us fans have been calling for, and I think that this is exactly what Naturi was referring to. She also followed by saying the ending will give us exactly what we need. For anyone to still have doubts about Ghost returning after what I just shared, then I don't know what to tell you. In part one of my Ghost Town series, I broke down how Ghost intentionally made everyone mad enough to the point to where they would want to kill him, and Ghost knew that the authorities would focus on everyone else but Tariq, because they would have more of a motive. In part one, I also broke down how Ghost waited and anticipated for Tariq to show up because he knew Tariq was the closest person to Club Truth since he just left. I pointed out how Ghost kept slowly moving forward as he talked with Tariq, which would make it virtually impossible for Ghost to fall that many feet back over the railing behind him. And this next scene is where I believe Ghost came to the realization that Tariq and Tasha could no longer be trusted under any circumstances. Selfish. You come in my place of work, a place I built for you, you call me selfish? Then run out the street and sell drugs with your moms? I know what she got you doing, son. That's the best you can do? Put your hands on mom. One more time. And I swear to God I'll murder you myself. I promise you that. And for Ghost to leave Tasha nothing in his will, Ghost had to have known that Tasha would take the murder charge for Tariq. In part two, I highlighted how each of the final five episodes were each character's perspective and how those perspectives were inaccurate when it came to Ghost's final moments. In my last Ghost Town video, I gave my theory on how Tariq may have been in on the plan with Ghost the entire time. Now in the past, I have floated the theory of Tasha being in on Ghost faking his death but I always thought the chances of this being actually true were very slim. But there was one specific moment from season three of book two, when Tariq held Tommy at gunpoint that was eerily similar to the final scene between Tariq and Ghost. The common denominator within these two moments is Tasha. Let me explain. Right before we saw Tariq shoot Ghost, Tasha came running in to stop Tariq, but it was already too late. In the scene where Tariq and Tommy are at a standoff, we learned in the following episode of Tasha knocking Tariq unconscious to prevent him from shooting Tommy. Who's to say that this wasn't the case with Ghost? 
We already know that the perspectives in Season 6 were inaccurate, so how do we really know if Tariq shot Ghost as it was portrayed on screen? There's a chance that the last sequence that we saw of Tariq shooting Ghost could have very well been a dream. What if Tasha actually knocked Tariq unconscious right before he pulled the trigger on Ghost? Power has always had some form of hallucinations in almost every season since the death of Reyna. And I find it odd that both Ghost and Tariq had a hallucination discussion with Kanan right before their final standoff. Tasha could have very well knocked Tariq unconscious moments before he pulled the trigger on Ghost. And all Tariq remembers is holding Ghost at gunpoint. When we saw Tariq shoot Ghost, everything was dramatized and in slow motion, and in my opinion this could have very well been a dream sequence from Tariq. Like I always say, keep in mind this is only a theory. But it would explain Tariq's hallucination scene in Season 4 of Book 2 where Tariq is face to face with his future son, where he aims the gun, but just as he's about to fire the gun disappears from out of his hands. What if the show was trying to subliminally tell us that Tariq didn't actually shoot Ghost? That could very well be the case. But regardless, everything has led to right now. There have been a few unexplainable moments after Ghost's death that may point to Ghost being in the shadows keeping an eye on Tariq. The signs have been there ever since the beginning of Book 2. What no one seems to be questioning is the fact that Ghost somehow made arrangements for Yasmin prior to his death, but there's no way that Ghost foreshadowed Tasha going to prison. And how exactly was Attorney Warren able to place Yasmin up for adoption if Tasha never gave up her rights to Yas? What's even more interesting was how Tariq wasn't legally supposed to know where Yas was located, so who exactly gave Attorney Warren the permission for Tariq to see Yasmin one last time before she went with her new parents? Better yet, if the adoption records were supposed to be sealed, then how was Attorney Warren able to take Tariq to Yasmin's adopted parents, and how did he know exactly where they were located? And who was the person that gave legal permission for Yas to be placed back into Tariq's hands in order to give Tasha back custody of her? Tamika didn't have the power to pull that off and neither did Attorney Warren. This is why I believe that Ghost was controlling everything from a distance when it came to Yaz, using his connection to Stephen Ott from the DNC to pull this off. And when it comes to Attorney Warren, I feel like everyone has overlooked how invested he was with Tariq. He didn't have to allow Tariq to see Yasmin one last time, but he did. He didn't have to give Tariq life advice, but he did. This is why I feel like we have all been looking in every other direction trying to figure who Ghost's brother is, when it could have very well been Attorney Warren. Think about it for a second. His character just randomly appeared immediately after Ghost's supposed death, and there was never any mention of Ghost having another attorney other than Joe Proctor. So how exactly was Ghost able to set up everything in the way that he did before his supposed death? And how did he find a trustworthy attorney like Daniel Warren in such a short amount of time? Ghost most likely had an attorney back in the day for him and Tommy when they were running the streets, and Daniel could have very well been that attorney. With so many things clearly pointing to Ghost being alive, like for example, how Uncle Gabe and Simon Stern both made sure that Tariq didn't talk bad about Ghost at the funeral, or how Stephen Ott has done everything to keep Ghost's image intact, it's really hard to believe how some people have completely ignored the suspicious activity from a number of characters after Ghost's supposed death. Not to mention one of the biggest clues have always been in our faces every episode that we have watched of Book 2, with an open empty casket appearing in the intro of the show. Book 2 has shown numerous subliminal clues that point to Ghost being alive. Even the titles of multiple episodes in Book 2 subliminally tell us something. Ghost has always been 10 steps ahead of everyone, and I believe he currently still is. There have been two times within Book 2 that I have noticed where it seems that someone had been watching Tariq at a distance. The first was when we saw Tariq at Ghost Gravesite. There is someone moving in the background that can clearly be seen, and no, that wasn't Cooper Sex. And most recently this season when Tariq and Brayden are sitting in the car we can clearly see two people in the background outside of the car. These are all subliminal messages in my opinion. 
I think that there are two different ways how they could bring Ghost back in the finale. The first would be for Ghost to return to help Tariq, whether it be against Nelma, Detective Carter, or even Zion. If Detective Carter somehow forms an alliance with Nelma and Zion, I believe that Tariq will need some major help. And even if Tommy and Diamond were to come to New York to help Tariq, I believe that they would still be outnumbered. Ghost returning to help Tariq would be a big moment in TV history. But the other part of me feels like Ghost could show up when the smoke clears after Tariq takes out Carter and his team with the help of Tommy and Monet. What if Tariq gets a call from attorney Daniel Warren or RSJ asking to meet up for an emergency meeting at a particular location at night? Tariq then goes to the location but doesn't see anyone. And then suddenly we hear a voice in the distance saying, I told you to quit thinking you're smarter than me, but you didn't want to listen. Tariq looks around but doesn't see anyone. Then out of nowhere Ghost appears from the shadows pointing a gun at Tariq and then the screen fades to black and the end credits for the show pop up. Leaving us all wondering what's next and whether or not Tariq was having a hallucination or if Ghost was actually there. Regardless of whether or not you believe Ghost will return, you can't deny that the show has been teasing his return from the very beginning. With all of the inconsistent perspectives that we got in Season 6 of Power, the unanswered questions after Ghost's death that we never got answers to, and actress Naturi Naughton teasing a major reveal in the finale, I believe that everything has been slowly building up and pointing to Ghost making his long-awaited return. Just because Omari Hardwick says that he didn't get paid doesn't mean that it's true. All actors have to sign a non-disclosure agreement when they are a part of a show. And why would Omari just blatantly come out and admit that he's returning to power? We all have to just wait and see when part 2 of season 4 returns. I'm interested in hearing some of your theories on how Ghost could return. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. See you all next time in the Universe of Power.